What's guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the second episode of Tomodachi Game. This one's titled, You Have a Lot to Say to Me, Don't You? Hmm, do you have a lot to say to me? I don't know. Um, so yeah, this show... Surprisingly, surprisingly interesting, I think is the best way I could put it. Um, first episode... See, someone said, I don't remember, it wasn't on my YouTube comments, it was somewhere else. I saw someone, like, mention Squid Game. In comparison with this show and I'm like I don't know if it's really like a squid game in that sense but I can see where your mind might be going with something like that I feel like there is like a squid game element to it and spoilers if you have not seen squid game I do recommend going to watch it it's very good um, but there was the squid game of this was all being done for people to bet on and to uh, for entertainment essentially and I can see there's definitely an aspect of that here. We've got multiple groups going at the same time. We know that. There's some organizers that are watching over this. To what extent and to what purpose, we don't know. We don't know if people are betting on it in the background. We don't know if it's being broadcast for entertainment or anything like that. We don't really even know what happens if you lose. Like, it's very threatening. And, like, I think the assumption is this is a death game. But we don't really have any evidence to suggest that it is a death game. It's just more of a you're going to be in debt type deal. And everyone has... Well, here's the thing. Someone has a massive debt. That massive debt has now been split amongst all of you. And now you're trying to get rid of your own personal debt. What was it? Was it 20 mil? Or 2 mil? I think it was 20 mil, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was 20 mil because the original, the money that went missing for the trip was 2 mil. But everyone here has a debt of 20 mil, so each have an individual debt of 4 million yen. Which is a fa fairly sizable sum of money, especially for a student. Like, especially for a student. Um, I worked out last episode, so you can go back and see the numbers there. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a hefty amount of money. And we've just got into this game... Things are going weird, it looks like we're about to lose, but our main character has now just spoken up, violated one of the rules of the game, in which you cannot speak, unless you're the, the reader. So he now has the penalty of, what was the penalty? Was it like doubling his debt? I believe was doubling? Yeah. So... Yeah, he definitely has the most debt now. I don't know why he's intentionally doing that. Well, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Okay, we're going to need this episode. This is very much a thinking show. And because I had a little bit of an extended break between episodes, uh, I feel like that's gone against me a little bit. Um, but you also just started off with, what, like saying saying something about like what colour panties is some, someone such wearing? And it's like, I don't know if he's trying to bait someone else to talk as well. Because like, I assume if he's talking, fair enough, he's broken a rule. But everyone else, if anyone else starts talking, they would also break the rule, right? So I don't know if he's trying to bait them into talking back to him. And therefore he's trying to be provoking. I don't know. Um, but, like, the thing that gets me so far is, like, we've been thrust into the situation immediately. We have no idea about any of these characters. Like, we have no idea what type of characters they are. And we won't, probably, for the longest time. Because they'll all be in they'll be hiding what their characters are actually like, right? There's no way they're going to show up. It's like, oh yeah, we're all friends, we can work through this together, when realistically, probably all of them have their own self-serving tendencies. Like, the only one I can see that isn't like that, and therefore it's probably the most like it, is, um, what's her face? Where is she? Uh, Yutori, is that one? Yeah, the shy girl. Um... I feel like because she is so obviously seen as the weak, shy one, she's probably going to be one of the more manipulative ones. It just feels like that's an obvious, like, oh, surprise, she's actually the devious one. It wouldn't be surprise me if it was her debt. It could be the main character's debt. Like, it could be a case of, because it's being told from the main character's perspective, we assume it's not him because he's expressed surprise at the fact that this is even happening. 
but it's secret that even he's withholding from the audience in sort of an unreliable narrative type of way. We don't know. Like, we're, we're not going to know for a long time. Or at least 12, well, maybe 10 episodes. I feel like by episode 10 we'll have a better understanding of it, probably, as we build into the finale. But who knows? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what role the Observers are going to play into this. If we're going to see or hear about any updates to other teams, because obviously some other teams are going to fail. And what will happen to them when they fail, I don't know. And beyond that, what the purpose of doing this game is in the first place. Like, why are we doing a game like this? How did we find all these friend groups where one of them has a massive debt? Like, is the debt even real? Like, I, I, that's another thing I saw. It's like, is the debt even real? It's like, who knows? I mean, we know, we know the two million going missing has already caused some distrust in the group. So, who knows? Who really knows about what's going with this show? But I need the second episode to start giving more context as to what's going on. So I'm just going to shut up and we're going to start watching the episode. Uh, so as per usual, these are time-based format reactions here on YouTube. If you want to see the full picture in picture, therefore the show and myself on the screen at the same time, you can go to my Patreon down description below. £4 a month gets you access to all picture and picture reactions I do on the channel, which is everything from my current seasonal lineup, as well as Patreon request shows that are returning hopefully in the next week or so. Um, that's the plan, at least. Uh, this being Tuesday, I think Simpho Gear will be returning here on the Tuesday slot. Uh, World Trigger will be returning on the Monday slot. And Lock Horizon, I don't know if it's going on Thursday or Sunday. I'm not quite sure where that's going yet, so we'll we'll see about that one. Um, but here on YouTube, we have to do time base for copyright reasons. So bottom left of the screen, you're going to see a time for the episode. I'll count down three to one play. I'm going to play you Sai episode, I Sai episode, we should be in sync. Watch this one on Crunchyroll since they've picked up everything this season. Uh, no logos or anything, we're going from a black screen, I think, into the OP. I think we've got the OP fairly early on here at least. Um, but you can also use screen flash on my face, the mic, all this part of my headset to tell when scenes are transitioning. That should help you sync it up as well. So, with all that said, let's get into episode 2 of Tomodachi Game, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Yeah, straight into OP. I can't remember if I like this OP or not. And there's your observers. Parent and child crooks. Interesting. The visual effects of this OP are pretty damn good. Where the hell is this group? Is that another group? I don't know. This is a good OP. Hmm. All right, here we go. Hmm. He's trying to bait him into talking, yeah. And he's making it obvious that he's trying to bait them as well. Break the rule, your debt is doubled, yeah. Hmm. Absolutely, yeah.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> mhm. Mm <laughs> mhm mm Fair enough. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Who dies? I so I guess it is definitely a death game, huh? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Group C, we have the two million. Okay. Mm hmm. Well, you can't, can you? Yeah. Hmm. Stop talking, let's get a move on. Is he gonna read everyone else's card? Yeah, there's, there's no chance. He's gonna read all the cards, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Very clever. Very clever. Hmm. Absolutely. All of you. Oh. Hmm.
She likes him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But is this genuine? Is this a trick? Oh, I I hate it. Uh. Not 3.6. What is it? 7.6. Okay. Ha. Huh. I don't know if that's true. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Oh god, it Oh god, this show. God, it's it builds everything to make you suspect everyone. I love it. Yeah. Okay, now we're setting him up. <sighs> But simply, I don't think we should trust anyone at any time. No one's clear. Nope. Okay. What? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Next game. Absolutely, yes. Oh. The gods? This is being broadcast, okay. Oh. It's Okay. Otherwise, off the building. Uh, games playing periods, each period you battle from zone. Oh, for God's sakes. I'm gonna read them again, I guess. <laughs> it's too quick. <laughs> it's too quick. Okay, bad mouth, put them in the box. Okay. <laughs> Does... Right. He was funding the game. Mm. Who's the most unforgivable? And I... ah, okay, okay. Interesting. Mm. One person needs to do it. Everyone gets 400. If you're left on the board, you get a million. What? Okay. Interesting. But it's completely anonymous. Could also do that. You may submit a blank. Everyone moves the space.
you're forced into the third game. Hmm. If there is a trailer. I don't trust anyone. Uh. God, there's so many. All blank. We've got to do that for another 58 rounds. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, each space. Ooh. Cool. This one's going to be even bigger, isn't it? Even bigger of a loss. Yep. 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 <laughs> You're going to leave it blank now? You're not, are you? What? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Someone put something. <laughs> Or it could be a positive thing. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God survey. Yep, she ho oh wow, she gets moved so much further. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Is there a potential for the plus spaces in there then? Oh my god, oh no, the friend group romance problems, oh no. She used to date this one, now fancies that one, but doesn't know she's liked by the other Oh no. Yeah. Hmm. Misunderstand. Okay, so it was like, childhood romance. Okay. Mm. It was pretend, okay. Mm. Hmm. Oh, why complicate it now? Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> oh dear. What a mess. Hmm. 
Hmm. I didn't write that. <sighs> right. Oh no. Mm. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh. Oh, is she going to say the same thing now? Aww. Who do you like? Yeah, oh god. <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah. It could have been any of them as well. It can literally be any of them. Okay. Are you going to write a note for one of them to see? Free submissions. Yeah. Okay. That one's not as bad. What? Oh. She has her... Why would she have plastic surgery, though? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Friendships have to be beneficial. Yeah. What's going on here? What? Okay, who said what now? Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. I think I know why she had surgery now. Okay, they kind of dropped why she had surgery there. She was bullied a lot and probably still is. Kind of gave a lot of hints in this ED, didn't they? Okay. So the surgery was because of something that happened to her in the past. Who would know that, though? It's entirely possible they could be writing things about themselves as well, right? Like, so that they get close to the edge to make it seem like they're being picked on. Like, it's entirely possible that she's doing this to make it seem like she's getting picked on because she's moving the furthest, fastest. But what is said to this one that makes her break down and cry like that? God damn. I, oh, this show, man. I love the show. I'm loving this show right now. I really, really am. It's just... <sighs> I, I can't trust anyone. You can't trust anyone. There is no one in this show that you can physically trust. Like, at all, right? Like...
Hmm. Hmm. This, yeah, like, this is honestly a very realistic thing that happens in friend groups. Like, the entirety of my friend group in school was guys. We didn't really have any girls in the friend group, per se. Well, we started to. Like, it was more of a case of, it was a, it was a group of us lads, and then as we g- had romantic interests, they'd slowly be brought into the group. But it does get rather complicated when multiple people in the friend group have eyes on the same girl, and that starts getting messy very, very quickly, or when multiple girls have the same look on the same guy in the group. It, it does become very complicated. It, it, it can happen quite a bit. So, yeah. So, let me just make sure I got this straight. Okay, let's get this straight. So, Shiho used to pretend to date Tenji, but Tenji secretly actually liked her the entire time. Meanwhile, Shiho now likes Yuichi and would like to get with Yuichi, unaware that Makoto or Shibe also likes her. Whereas Yuichi, I don't know if it's really says who Yuichi likes. I don't know if he's necessarily liking any of them. Meanwhile, Yutori is just on the edge there, just like wishing that people would like her. Maybe that's why she has a different look to what she does in the ED. Because in the ED, she's definitely more of the, what you would say, typical nerdy, not liked one. And they're very clearly showing some very significant markings on Shiho's chest there. Looks like a burn, so I'm guessing something happened that she was involved in that way. What's happening with our boy Makoto here, though? Like, it seems like he has a lot of respect and love for his mother. I think this is his mother. And then his the mother is broken down crying on him, and he doesn't look like... Did the mother do something wrong? I don't remember anything about the mother being mentioned in his little bio thing from the first episode because we really don't know that much about these characters and yet we're being forced into the list to make a decision on who do we trust because like the quicker you like can make a decision about who to trust and who you don't trust and you can suss that out the easier it's going to be to like get through this right but we who do you trust who like <laughs> who do you trust in this like i think honestly just don't trust anyone like i feel like like I said, it could be any of them. It could be our MC concealing something from us, the viewer. It's very impossible it could be Tenji trying to get back at someone. It could be Shiho manipulating things. It could be Makoto manipulating things. It could be Yutori as well. Because she's the quiet one that... Of all the people here, Yutori is clearly the only one that is labelled as a victim in all this. Like, she does not seem the type that is under any suspicion from any of the group. Like, I don't think any of them have really looked at her in that way. Everyone knows, like, Yuichi thinks that in the first round she was the scapegoat because she's the easy one to pick on. This second round, nothing of hers has really been brought into this until next episode. Next episode is where something happens to her in one of the revelations about her. Which one? I don't know. What about? I don't know. But yeah, the plastic surgery for Shiho is obviously because of burns, and she probably felt very insecure about those burns. Or maybe it was just as simple as she needed skin grafting because of the nature of the burns. Maybe it just had to be done, and she didn't have much of a choice. Because when you think plastic surgery, you think cosmetic, like do- doing the cheeks, or like structure or something or breast enlargement or something stupid like that like very much like a self-centered like improved personal image type thing usually cosmetic usually not needed in the slightest but people go through with it to improve their own self-image or attract something like they know that if they did this they become more attractive to a certain type like that's why you go for breast enlargement it's like you want bigger breasts to like attract people maybe go something like that Whereas Shiho, I think it's more like skin grafting or something that was absolutely necessary after whatever happened to her. Like, I don't think we have much backstory on her, did we? Um, she, I think she's been burnt by something. I don't know. Something in her past that maybe isn't being 
fully let on. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that. The burns. Um, yeah, Tenji, his dad passing, obviously has a big impact on him. And then, yeah, um, what's her name? Yutori. I'm going back and forth between Annalist and this to get the names right. Yutori is uh, obviously the one that's been bullies all through school. Has made a change so that she doesn't look like the stereotypical nerdy girl, I guess. The quiet one. So she's made a change. Because that's a very common thing, right? As you enter high school, like, it's very often shown in shows like this when you're the quiet one or not, like, the very popular one and very, like, alone in middle school. You make a you make a change to, like, start afresh in high school. Like, that's a very common thing I've seen in shows. So it looks like she's done the same thing. Uh, let me just go back to the rules real quick because almost certainly we'll be exploiting one of these in the future. Uh, let's see. So the game is played in periods. Each period you badmouth someone. Write it down on the badmouth card in the private room. Once ah, once you enter the room, you can't leave for three minutes. So you cannot tell if someone's quick or if they've written a lot. It's three minutes either way. You can write as many things as you want about each person. So there's no real limit. You can submit a blank. You may lie, but if the lie is revealed, you'll be forced back to the start. So it's a risk. You can say something that's a lie, but if it's proven to be a lie, you'll get forced back to the start. And then obviously the number of spaces you move is determined by the God survey, which is the internet. Putting the internet in the in the like name of God is pretty it's pretty messed up. Like, could you imagine if God was the collective hive mind of social media? Could you imagine the chaos that that would bring? Like, this would be a God that thrives off drama, that thrives off anarchy. Like, that would enjoy suffering, probably. So, that would be a complete twist on what God is seen as, especially in Christianity, right? All loving, all powerful, all knowing, all seeing, all good. Like, this would be a complete opposite of that, so. Where can we game this, though? Lies, I guess. There's no limit to to this either. Also, if it's three minutes per for each of them, each round's 15 minutes. Like, I don't think you realize this. Each round is 15 minutes because all five of them have to go in the room for three minutes. So it's 15 minutes per round. If they actually did... Cause it's, is it 58 or 59 spaces? Where's the board? Okay. Uh, where was it? So yeah, 60 spaces. It's 60 spaces. So, 900 minutes. They'd be there for 15 hours if they tried their original strategy. They'd be there for 15 hours. <laughs> That's insane, actually, when you think about it. But at the same time, the fastest someone can move is 5 spaces per, right? So... That would mean the fastest they could do is 12. So still, either way, this game takes, at minimum, three hours. <laughs> at minimum, this game is going to last more than three hours. That's actually an interesting little thing that I don't know if many people will pick up on. Or will be conveyed through the show too well, other than the fact that you can't leave for three minutes from writing the thing. So... God, imagine the suspense and tension of doing this for three hours minimum. That's insane. That's actually kind of insane. God, I, lo I love this concept. I love the show already. Why do I love the show already? <laughs> because it's it's kind of a mind fuck in a weird way, I guess. 
Maybe I, I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just loving this. I hear people aren't too thrilled about this adaptation for some reason. Um, for those of you who have seen the original source material, can you explain why maybe this isn't being received as well as the source material? Because I feel like the source material is quite liked, and this seems to be not getting that same reputation so far from what I've seen. Is there a particular reason for it? Is it because of the way it's being adapted in some way? If someone could let me know, maybe it's just because it's anime and like it has a larger audience and therefore a larger percentage of people will actually dislike it just because there's more voices now. Because this is doing... This is doing alright. 20,000 current watchers. I mean, Aaron watches progressions going up as per usual. Scores kind of stagnating and starting to dip. Which again, I'm surprised by, so... Yeah, if anyone knows why the show might not be doing quite so well, despite the manga being very well liked, please let me know. But that's going to do it for today, guys. I'm going to stop talking, because otherwise these videos will go on for a long time. I feel like this series is going to be one of those series of mine where consistent 40 plus minute episodes as we discuss how things are going. I feel like this is going to happen a lot, so um, look forward to those in the future, because they're going to be happening a lot. Uh, but that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as usual. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments what you thought of the episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the uh, spring 2022 lineup. You can find it on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time. See you guys later.